my husband, and, and I know what it is. I know because he told me right after we were married that, well, he told me what he was gonna get me on this Christmas. I guess I just never thought this Christmas would actually get here, so. You see, I always knew that I was meant to be a mother and my husband was meant to be a dad. I just knew it, I was sure of it. Till I wasn't. It, it happened slowly at first, I didn't really notice it, but after a while the, um, the cute little jokes that our friends made, they stopped being funny and the constant pep talks from our family reminding us that it just takes time, well, that started to become a little more defeating than encouraging. It's actually a little frightening to think how many dark places my mind went to during those years. I mean, I thought, had I done something wrong? Was I being punished? I even convinced myself that somehow, some way, God had abandoned us in our pursuit of our dream of being parents. I thought maybe if I prayed more or trusted more, believed more, then maybe, but after years of praying and trusting and believing, I had nothing to show for it. Nothing but a broken heart and a bunch of empty tissue boxes. I mean, it was just the way it was going to be. Till it wasn't. December 21st. I remember because I opened my advent calendar and there was an extra piece of chocolate in there. I love that. I love it when that happens. But that was not the best part. The best part was the scripture message that came with the chocolate. Isaiah 61 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. <sighs> See, in this prophecy about the coming Messiah, God reassured me that not only had he not forgotten about us, but that he wanted to help us. And that seed of hope just found its way into my heart. And yes, God does have a strange way of doling out kids, but we soon realized that we didn't have to necessarily experience the miracle of childbirth to experience the miracle of having a child. So, while my friends were off to Lama's classes, we were meeting with lawyers and social workers and notaries, and it took us a lot longer than nine months to become parents, but that little miracle, she was worth the wait. In my wildest dreams, I could never imagine how God would orchestrate this for us. But he did it. He did it. You know, just the other day, God reminded me that he provided baby Jesus in a very strange way on that very first Christmas. He didn't come like everyone thought he was going to show up. He also reminded me that because of Jesus, I am his adopted child. And if he loves me as much as I love that little girl, then I don't have to ever question his love for me again. When 
hope is just a distant thought. You take my pain and you lead me to the cross. What love is this that you gave your life for me and made a way for me to know you? And I confess that you're always enough for me. You're all I need. I look to you. Thank you.